What is up YouTube? How's it going guys? Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate that. If you wouldn't mind taking a quick second to go down and like this video and also subscribe to my channel and if you wouldn't mind hitting that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a video. So today I actually have a pretty cool and unusual video for you guys. I have five guitars here in boxes right there and I'm going to unbox all these guitars on camera. So these are five electric guitars right here. It's actually three basses and two guitars. So this one right here, this box, that's actually two boxes um, taped together. I guess they came from the same place. Um, this one over here is a bass and then these two in the middle are guitars. And here's why I actually have all these guitars here at my house. I actually didn't buy these guitars. These guitars were bought by my friend Tommy. If you guys didn't know, um, I'm in a band with my friend Tommy and we're supposed to be filming a couple music videos in August and he wanted us to have guitars um, that we can kind of like be careless with and throw around in the music video to make it look cool. So what he did is he bought these five guitars on eBay, three basses, two guitars. He bought them on, on eBay. They're relatively inexpensive guitars from what I understand. Um, I have no idea what they look like. I don't know what brand they are. I don't know how much they cost. But I think that the value of all the guitars, all five guitars combined, is somewhere between four and $500. I'm guessing that they're kind of off-brand guitars. I have a feeling that some of the guitars are probably like Fender style um, inspired. So let's go ahead and unbox these and I'm gonna test them all out and see how they sound. Um, I don't know if these are used guitars. I don't know if they're brand new. We're just gonna find out right now. I don't even know if these are going to be in good or working condition when I open the boxes. I know nothing about these guitars, so this is going to be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and start unboxing these. I think I'm going to start off with the double first. So here we go. All right guys, so here's the first bass. So it looks like it's brand new. It's brand new. Um, I don't know what brand it is yet. Maybe it says it on the back, but as you can see the head um, stock has no logo on it. And it looks like it is a Fender style body. But I mean, it looks cool. It's a cool looking bass and that's what it's important for a music video. And um, I think my buddy Tommy wants me to write at the top of these. Um, he wants me to write Crunk Punk on the head, as if that's the brand of the guitar. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a great looking guitar. So I guess it is brand new. So I'm assuming the other one, which was taped to this box, I'm guessing it's going to be similar to this one, but let's find out. Oh, by the way, guys, it also came with a cable. I can't remember if I said that. Let's just take a quick look at the back of it. Maybe it says something on the back of the guitar. Oh wow, it's actually a uh, fairly lightweight. Um, nope, it looks like it doesn't say anything on the back. Doesn't say anything on the back. Don't know where this guitar came from. Don't know anything about it, but I mean, it's a great looking guitar. So let's just go ahead and put it here. I will be trying all these out, by the way. So we have enough room on this thing for one, two, three, four, five guitars. By the way, guys, I picked up this guitar rack at a Goodwill for $6 which is crazy because brand new they're around 50. Moving on to base number two. All right guys, check this out. This is the second base and it looks exactly the same as the first one except in white. It's a super nice looking base. So yeah, that's number two. Let's go ahead and put it over here with the other one. Awesome. And just like the other bass, it did come with a cable and a very tiny Allen wrench. I'm not sure what that is for. Oh, there's actually two Allen wrenches in there. Let's move on to the first guitar. All right, guys, here's the first regular six string guitar. Um, this is the brand right here. Um, Galeri, I guess, is the brand of this guitar, I've never heard of that before. Um, I'm guessing that this guitar is going to be probably the same quality as like a Fender Squire. It looks like it's even made in that like Fender um, 
Fender style. Looks pretty cool. We got the blue with the black pick guard. Um, there we got the blue base with the white pick guard. I'm starting to wonder if my friend Tommy did that on purpose. He got two um, blue guitars. And that's starting to make me think, I wonder if the other guitar is going to be white like this one. So let's find out right now. By the way, guys, this guitar came with... Oh, that's so cool. It actually came with a whammy bar. I've never actually owned a guitar with a whammy bar. That's pretty cool. Came with a whammy bar and a uh, guitar cable. Looks like it came with a pick and a strap. And then over here, we have a little, uh, a little gig bag. That's cool. It's cool. It's like a little, uh, you know, beginner setup kind of thing. It's a cool looking guitar for sure. I am going to test all of these out right after we unbox them. I'm just curious if this is the one where you replace the, oh yeah, so you replace the strings through the back just like that. We have three guitars open so far. We still have two to go. So we're going to do the next guitar. All right, guys, so just like I thought, the other guitar was white, just like the other white bass. And that's making me think that Tommy wants us to color coordinate our guitars for these music videos. But yeah, guys, unlike the other guitar, this one does not have a uh, logo on the uh, head. I'm starting to wonder if it's the same. It looks like the same shape head. I wonder if, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure he bought these from two different people, I'm, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but just like the other one, this white guitar, it also came with a strap and a pick and a whammy bar, cable, an Allen wrench, um, and also another gig bag, which is, which is super cool, guys. So let's go ahead and put this one over here with the other guitars. And just like that, we're down to our last one, our last bass. All right, guys, so it looks like we got another Fender style bass. The brand of this guitar is a moon or a moon. I don't know, but it's also, you know, it's a pretty cool looking guitar. Um, it has a black body. My guitars, both of the gu other guitars that I actually own, I'm not talking about these ones, um, are black. So maybe one of the music videos, we're all going to use black guitars. I don't know. But nonetheless, guys, a pretty cool looking bass. Let's just set it over here with all the other guitars. And there we go, guys, our five brand new guitars for these music videos. And now I have a bunch of empty boxes I have to deal with. So guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and test these out. I figured that because the white base and the blue base are exactly the same, I'm only gonna test out one of those. I'm gonna test out the black base and then I'm gonna go ahead and test out both um, guitars, the blue one and the white one, just because I'm not 100% sure that they're from the same company. One of them has like a brand on it and the other one doesn't. All right guys, so I just tuned up the two regular um, six string guitars and I'm going to test them out using um, the amp because I could do it line in, but I always feel like plugging guitars through in through a um, interface, I always feel like it just sounds different. So uh, I wanna use the amp. Let's get started. So if you didn't know on like these kind of guitars, um, there's a pickup selector switch at the uh, right here. And the way that works is that all the way down uses this pickup. The next notch up uses both these pickups. The next notch up just use the mi uses the middle pickup. And then the next one up uses the middle and the, and the neck pickup. And then all the way up uses just the neck pickup. So let's just go through those really quick. Um, I have all my knobs turned all the way up. So I think it sounds pretty decent. I would say it's like in the same category as like a Squire, 
like a Fender Squire probably. Um, if you have the um, the switch all the way down, you do get a little buzz, but that's just like I said, like the Squires. I have a Squire Bullet. That guitar does the same thing. But I think it's a decent sounding guitar. Like I'm, I'm assuming it was like pretty inexpensive since he got all these five guitars for um, somewhere between four and five hundred dollars. I'm not exactly sure how much, but that means that each guitar was probably less than a hundred dollars. So for probably in the same price range as a Squire, I would say it's probably just about as good as a Squire. Let's move on to the blue guitar. Alright guys, now let's try out the blue guitar. Let's see if it sounds any different from the white guitar. So I'm going to start, I'm going to go through all the, the switches just like I did with the white one. Alright guys, I think this one sounds probably just about the same as the white one. So far, so good with these guitars, guys. Alright guys, now let's move on to the basses. By the way, the guitar amp that I'm using, or that I was using for the guitars, it's called the, uh, it's a Bogera 333XL. I love this amp. I've literally had this amp for probably close to 10 years. Um, it is tubed. It's a tubed amp. You could get one of these for probably around like 550 now. I think when I bought it, it was like 600. They're pro they probably go between like 500 and 550 now. Um, and the cabinet I think goes for 250 if I'm not mistaken. But I've never done a review on this amp and I feel like I should. I might do that in the near future. This amp sounds great and it has a lot of really cool features. Now for the bases, the blue one and the white one are like identical. So I'm just gonna do one of those and then I'm gonna do the black one. And we're gonna use this Fender bass amp right here. All right guys, let's go ahead and try out the white bass. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. I mean, I, th I think it's a pretty decent sounding bass, um, especially for what it probably costed. I think it, it sounds pretty decent. I mean, the neck feels pretty good. It feels good, it sounds pretty decent, like, hey, I think it's a pretty good beginner bass. Alright guys, now let's move on to the black one. Um, for the black one, it looks like this is a, uh, this first knob is a volume knob, and the next two knobs are tone. I think it sounds good right there. Yeah, so like, I kind of like the really bassy sound, so I'm going to turn it all the way, what is that, counterclockwise? This bottom knob? I love that. It's like, so right off the bat, um, just by feeling this guitar, the neck seems a bit thinner than the white one, which I do like, and the other thing is that the it feels like a little more neck heavy, and I think it's because they use, um, they probably use heavier hardware up here by the uh, tuning knobs. So yeah, here's how it sounds. So guys, I feel like I could get a pretty good sound from this bass. I love how it sounds. And yeah, guys, that is all the guitars. Once again, guys, I didn't do the blue bass because it's exactly the same as the white bass. 
But um, I, I think this, I like this base. I like this base a lot. I've never heard of this brand before, a moon. I'm assuming it's, you know, like a beginner's kind of base that you can buy for probably like quite inexpensively. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this video really quickly because it's not every day that five guitars show up at your house and you get to unbox them all and try them out. So I thought that was pretty fun. And guys, if you like this video, if you could go down and give me a like, that helps me out a lot. And also, I strongly encourage you to go check out my channel and check out the other videos I have. I have a bunch of different types of videos, a lot of music videos as well. And if you like what you see there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon as well. I'll have my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook down in the description of this video. And I will talk to you guys next time. Peace!